Welcome back to Simplified Triple Studies. Uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss the characteristics of DC series motor. In the previous session, I have discussed the characteristics of DC shunt motor. So let us continue the session. So there are three types of important characteristics. As uh, first of all, uh, I would like to talk about TA IA characteristics. Okay, you can make a note of this. Concept is very simple. So the first one. TA versus IA characteristics. Let us consider the series motor. And uh, here, what you can do is uh, you have to consider the torque equation. So, if you write the torque equation, uh, we can write the armature torque TA is directly proportional to phi into IA. Okay. We have already derived a torque equation. So in the case of series motor, in the case of uh, series motor, the flux is directly proportional to the armature current. Therefore, armature torque can be written as IA into IA, IA into IA. So that means armature torque is directly proportional to IA square. Now, you can draw the characteristics in the y axis. Uh, you can mark armature torque, where in the x axis you can mark armature current. Now, the shape is just like a parabolic graph, parabola. So, you can say just like a parabolic graph. So, just like a parabolic graph, parabolic graph. Okay. So that you can mention. So after see up to this point, it become like a parabola. So afterwards, it become like a straight. So up to a, up to a graph becomes graph shape is parabolic curve. Okay parabolic so after the after a uh, it gets saturated it gets saturated and uh, becomes straight line so this type of characteristic is known as ta versus ia torque versus uh, armature current characteristics. Now, so moving on to the next characteristics, NIA characteristics. So let me move on to NIA characteristics. Second type. N, N versus IA characteristics of series motor. You can parallel note down. It would be very easy. So you already know that uh, if we talk about the equation of back EM of EB, so the speed can be written as N is equal to EB divided by phi. Okay. Okay. From this relation, I can write the speed. Speed of armature is directly proportional to EB divided by IA because flux is directly, we already shown phi is directly proportional to IA in the case of series motor. So again, we have to find out the relation between speed and armature current. I can write like uh, N is directly proportional to IA. So now you can draw the graph. The speed you can draw. This is my speed. Okay, speed in RPM. Uh, I have armature current in terms of ampere. So what could be the shape? N is as the uh, armature current increases, the speed comes down. So that is a speciality here. So we can mention like uh, the graph is just like a hyperbolic curve, say hyperbola. Okay, hyperbola. Graph is shape of the graph is hyperbola. If you want, you can mention the safe uh, safe limit. So this is actually you can make a safe speed. Okay, safe speed. Okay. 
So this type of characteristic is known as N versus IA characteristics. Now, third one, I would like to talk about the third type of characteristics, NTA characteristics. Okay, third one, no doubt. So speed versus torque characteristics, N versus TA. This is also very important. Uh, see here, an increasing torque, an increasing torque need. Okay, an increasing torque needs increasing armature current. Increase, increase in armature current. We already discussed it, increasing armature current. Correct now? Suppose if the armature current increases. If the armature current increases, what will happen? The speed will come down. We already discussed in the previous characteristics. Okay. Now what you can do is, you can correlate with N and TA. See, N and TA. Suppose as the torque increases, obviously the speed comes down. That means the relation between N and TA will be inversely proportional. Okay, it's a, it's also a hyperbolic graph. It is also a hyperbolic graph. Hyperbolic curve. It's a hyperbolic curve. So here we can we can draw N versus T A. So what is the conclusion? So we can see it's a hyperbolic graph. Now, we studied about three characteristics. Conclusion, let us conclude the session. Okay, we have studied three type of characteristics. What are they? You can, uh, firstly, uh, we discussed about, we discussed about TAIA, TA versus IA. Uh, NIA, N versus IA, ultimately N, N versus TA curve we are familiar. What are the inferences uh, you need to make? So the thing is, conclusion, second conclusion. So we, by inspecting these two curves, N, NIA and NTA curve, the conclusion we can make is a series motor should start with a certain load okay series motor must and should must and should start with start with certain load certain load okay if you start series motor without any load. Motor goes dangerous speed, dangerous speed. So do not invite such kind of situation. Even motor winding also will get spoiled. Another important thing, uh, series motor, series motor usually offers high starting torque. High, high starting torque. So it is most appropriate for the heavy load application, especially crane. Hoist conveyors, you can go ahead with the series motor. These are the inferences uh, we can make it from uh, the characteristics of uh, DC series motor. So, thank you very much for watching this video. If you're pleased with this video, I request you to share with your friends. If you are expecting similar kind of videos in future, uh, you can subscribe my channel. I'll be updating every uh, like a week at least to three plus videos related to electrical and electronics. Okay. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning and please don't subscribe my channel. Have a great day. Thank you.